Well, hello and good morning and welcome back. Tuesday the 19th of March at the moment. Just out doing a checks at Tilbury Yard. We spent the night in here last night. It's actually quite quiet to be fair. I thought it'd be a bit a bit noisier than this, but it wasn't it was quiet. So we're heading up to Newmarket this morning to get a new windscreen put in the truck, hopefully. All being well. Um Hopefully it doesn't take too long, we've got this 20 foot container to deliver that we've got on at the moment at Newmarket for 12 o'clock as well, but a different site, so might even shrink it back here and take the container lock off or do I do it at Newmarket mm, Might do it at Newmarket, we'll see what happens uh, Still driver's sleeping in here at the minute, so if we do it at Newmarket, it's um, Gonna be no one sleeping there so we'll probably do that so let's get up the road get up to new market and see what can happen well don't we all love queuing for dartford on a monday or tuesday morning sorry not monday morning um, you know, it's always good to start the day off with some traffic i suppose so yeah we need to get up to new market and we need to go to the fleet department i think uh, they said it's windscreen company that turners use at the bolt but it'll probably get done at the fleet department because the where garages are we need to go inside the garage ideally for them to do it i, I would have thought so we'll get up to new market get parked in a space up there i'll then walk back to the fleet department because it's just going to be the easiest thing to do um let them know i'm here because imagine it's them that's booked it and then um, we'll go from there regarding uh, just watch him wagging behind because he's about pushing me out of road because he's wanting to get through there we are he's away so yeah we can um, get up there and get booked in with fleet department and then they can tell us to say yeah just put the trailer drop the trailer there and bring the truck round here and we'll wait for them to turn up or just wait where you are and we'll send them to come find you so well we're just getting off the 14 at the minute just trying to get out of this junction we're only 1.7 mile to the yard we're gonna go after this red one there we are we're out and away not had a bad run hour and 52 up from london gateway we had that traffic on there getting on to the effort yeah, and off of the A13 onto the 25 and then onto the 25, well on the 25 itself a bit as well. We had a little bit of traffic, but uh, we've, we've got time on our side at the minute, so that's always good, to, to be honest. So we can't argue with that really. It's not the best road to come up and down this one. It does get a bit tight down here. But they're literally down here to the next roundabout. Turn left, turn right, and then we're in the yard. Well, head office yard um, I'm hoping they just tell me just to go pack it up at um, I think I'll stop on the way in fleet sort of as you go in the gate it's like on the left there so I think I'll um, just put my hazards on pop in there and see them might just tell me just to line it up in front of the workshop or something like that and wait there for someone for them to come and do it so hopefully that's the case and we don't have to do too much messing about it'd be nice but I've got a feeling it's not going to be that simple, but you know, I like to be wrong. <laughs> I would like to be wrong on this occasion and then we get a good turnaround. Don't have to worry about the job, can get that covered for 12 o'clock. Get back down to London Gateway, get this box off, get the one on for tomorrow, and then probably go park in Tilbury and just call it a day again, potentially. But we'll see what sort of turnaround we get places and what sort of happens. It's all up for debate at the moment. So this is where you get new trucks from as well. Um, go in there and tell them that this one's knackered and they need a new one. Daft want it back. It's a rarity. It's broken but there's no warnings on. Yeah, that van will come in straight round the roundabout there with no indicators on that we pulled out on. Oh well. If you don't indicate how you meant to know where anyone's going. Oh well, yeah, we can get straight up to, to the gatehouse as well. I'll try and avoid the big crater on the way in. 
at least with a unit. Oof, God. So yeah, I'll get off and go book in here and we'll go get sorted. Okay, so we are in Newmarket. Just got a little stand set up here. They're doing the windscreen now. You can see they've just got the van outside. They said it'd be about two hours to do, so we literally just gonna just hang around back at trailer. I don't wait, to be fair. It's all we can do. Uh, so it's just come nine o'clock, so perfect timing really from them. Should be done for 11. And then we can get out and back onto, um, back onto jobs. Said it's unusual that like it's cracked inside though. They didn't expect it to be cracked inside and not outside. So, oh well, we shouldn't be too bad and we can get out of here soon, hopefully, and back to normal. So we've got a new windscreen in. It's been in about an hour and a bit. We just had to wait. Said to wait an hour after the finish just to um, let everything settle on that. So that's what we've done. And we're making our way through Turner's and Newmarket. Finding a way out of the labyrinth that is this new market site a bit. It's well, it's not that bad. Once you've been a couple of times, you sort of remember like which ways to go and which ways you can't go and whatnot. But we'll get there. I parked up on this road quite a few times, to be fair. Because they used to be, used to be a lot smaller. I had the idea of his curtains drawn, parked up for the night. So we're only 3.8 mile away from the job at the minute actually as well. We're not that far away. I think I'll go left here. Then we can go round to the right. And then... You used to have to get a gate pass to get out, but... I'm not sure if you need to anymore with us having these tablets. You know, surely they make it a bit redundant because we can't change the box and box number that we're picking up so I'm gonna go try it without it you know yeah shouldn't today I've taken a cutting corner off I think it should be a bit of a one-way system in here to be fair but yeah, it could be for all I know but the signs don't show that you can come down this one as well on the left but oh well Oh well, so yeah, the off trans traffic office is here, but I'm just gonna go straight up to gate to try and get out. I'm not messing about, I don't think. We'll um, try it with a tablet and see if we can get out on that. And then see where we go from there. It's like I ain't got much rush to get across the road, has it? Half a mile away now. It's literally, we've done 12 minutes driving. And when we pulled off, yeah, they let us out without, without a gate pass. They wanted a gate pass, but there were six trucks behind us, so we want, we come back up to go get one. Don't say anywhere to go get a gate pass to get out, so we're gonna have to wait here for a gap to get out. If we need the other side of the road. There's a van coming down. Oh, we're gonna go after this van just quickly. Nice and light. There we go, we're round. We're round, so it's down here somewhere on the right. Is this job? Certainly around here somewhere. We're looking for we're looking for the library company. Exning Road is what we're on. It's up here somewhere. I think you're in there. Yeah, in there. Sign face it wrong way. Urgh. That is so frustrating. <sighs> Why? Why have they put sign wrong way? You come through an industrial estate to it and it's wrong pissing way. I don't know how I'm turning around here now. I've got no way to turn around here. That's that's rubbish, isn't it? That's rubbish. You find the sign wrong way around. I have to find somewhere to turn around now. What's this coming up here? Does that lead up anywhere? That's a dead end road. God's sake! Why have the port sign on all the way? 
where wagons are going to come through that estate to get to the job. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I'm going, I'm heading straight into the middle of Newmarket now. Alright, I'm going to find somewhere to turn this truffin' truck round. It's just, just ridiculous. Well, we found our way onto site. Some there was a little roundabout further down the road that we managed to just spin it round, and I mean just got it round. And we just managed to fit into here as well, because it ain't the biggest place. So the one that's up here and round the back. Let's, let's have a laugh up here. It's not the biggest of places, to be honest. And I'd like to have swung out a bit more. But the trailer's here, you see. One way. Christ on my, I don't think we're going to make this. No prayer. No chance. Not a chance of making that. She's just ridiculous. Going to have to shrink this back to get around that bend. Good job it ain't heavy. <laughs> I, I can't even reverse back round the um, back round corner. It's a wall. There's a horse track next to us. I thought an horse just went past. I was trying to watch everything round here. This is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. There's that trailer. Oh, we're miles off at trailer. Yeah. So I had no chance of making that round. I almost shrunk this back. Well, these places we come. It's a good job we've got a 20 footer, but not a 40 on. Otherwise, I'd have to get that trailer moved. Yeah, I know. They're down there waving for me to come down there. Not realising that we can't fit. Oh, I say, good job this is light. It's only about three ton this. If this were... Uh, if this were max weight, I won't be shrinking it back to get round. They'd have to get someone there. They'd have to move somewhere for us to get round. So, let's get round the bend. There we go, we've got rid of most at length now. That's a cart seat trailer out to. There we go. There we go, we're round. <laughs> it's a good job, it's a 20 footer. Real good job, it's a 20 foot container. We, some, we come some places with these trucks, don't we? I don't know where he's gone. There. Yeah. yeah, it's a good job we can shrink this bike. They must not send 40s round here, you see. We must not send them round here. There we are, thumbs up. So let's go get these doors and that cracked. And we'll see how long they're gonna be. Okay, so this is making us way out of the Libra company at Newmarket. They reckon they do get 40 foot containers down here. And these brakes are gonna be Sensitive as out, I think. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. No, I'm, mirrors are falling in. I'm gonna scrape out paintwork on truck coming through here. I hate doing stuff like this. Yeah, camera's been knocked in. 
stuff like this is just so frustrating to do. There we go, we've, we've passed most of it, just. So we've got to stretch the container at the minute, we've got to try and get out on main road here. To turn left, if we want to go that way. Clear from the right, clear from the left as well. There we go. <laughs> We're out. Oh man. So we're down in London Gateway now to get this box off. Um, and then we're heading to, we've got Normanton in the morning. Fridge to Normanton. So we're gonna get down here, we're gonna have a break to get a clean card at the, at the truck stop. Um, and then we can get round in the dock over to um, Newark. I wanna try and get to tonight to park up. If we can get up to Newark and park up up there, that would be brilliant. Um, probably look at about half past five start in the morning, something like that then, to get up to Newark, uh, not Newark, to Normanton for eight o'clock. It's a bit of a labyrinth around here to try and get out. You come through like a bit of a retail park. Uh, we're getting down the gateway. So I've come over tired all of a sudden, I'm just been struggling for an edge at last little bit so we're gonna get a break down here before we get in the box isn't released yet um, I'm not sure when it's gonna be released at the minute they're trying to get an answer back so I says we'll get down here get a break in see what we end up hopefully they can get us a three o'clock VBS it'd be nice Let's get up the road to Newark get some distance in I'll run up some miles um, I think the empty box is going to be coming back down here as well to Gateway tomorrow, but it's never say never at the minute, in it. Uh, we know I've had a good run though, haven't we? Well, we've been down here quite a lot this last week and a bit. It's, uh, it's not often I get down here, as you'll have seen if you've been watching the videos quite a lot or well, quite a while. It's um, very hit and miss to get down here. But I say we've had a good run. I can't ask for more than that. Oh, it would be nice if it continues, but we'll have to wait and see. We're just waiting and seeing. Okay, so we're just round at London Gateway now. We've just got our box off. And we're just waiting to get our box on. We're going round to, while we're waiting for this lad to back in, I'll update my tablet. So this one we've arrived 
job's finished, we've just got the box off. Mileage is 128717. Um, we are doing a slightly different job tomorrow. We're picking up that one, I think. HLXU, yeah. Um, we're still doing, it's the same job, but um, it's just a later, but it's the same time booking as well. It's just a different box, so. I think what they do is they have some, they'll have like, that many boxes coming in that they'll just can swap and change them for when one's cleared and one isn't. So um, it just works out like that, I think, at times. So, but at least we've got the uh, same job at the moment. Heading up to heading up to Normanton, and then we are uh, we're going, and then we're I think we're back down London Gateway with that as well because it's a fridge they don't put fridges down sat uh, inland mostly apparently they all come down to the dock again so so we're heading up to pad three which looks like there could be a queue there is there's a lad waiting already for free huh i thought we could be straight in up here but no it's full full yeah we are picking up from free so wow we're waiting a little while um well it is what it is isn't it you know it can't be helped we've got to wait we've got to wait so we'll get off here and wait so we can get in somewhere there is a pad free at e but we'll leave it to them so we'll get in here get this box on and then we'll start making our way up north to not new it to part for the night Uh, we've got a box on just getting round now to come round onto the M25 just come off the A13 just getting onto the roundabout to start making our way up north so we're going to head to Newark tonight we've got us there at uh, quarter to seven at the minute we're 133 miles away we've got a container on we've got the con container lock on Everything is sort of all right at the minute. Five past four. I'm hoping we can get a good run round the M25 at least to beat the traffic. We ain't got that far to go. It's only about 12, 13 miles, something like that, to the M11. And then we're heading north, so we should all be okay very soon. So, yeah, hopefully we can bring this back down a gateway tomorrow. That'll take care of tomorrow then. That'll be everything sort of done by the end of play there because I'll probably just be parked down at Tilbury um, it's going to be a good five hour drive back down going to be on at least six and a half hours driving at a fort by the time we get back down here again which um, gives us a bit of time but it doesn't give us a hell of a lot of time to try and make anywhere for parking up properly so I think the best bet for us is to uh, just cut the loss park down at um, Tilbury tomorrow night and see where we end up so probably maybe start at five in the morning maybe try and pick up some overtime tomorrow but we'll see we'll see how we fare and we'll go from there so we're just coming around now onto the M25 where hopefully like I said we get a clear run and we can pick up a bit of time well we're finally making it so there's been a bit of a jump uh, just just been a quiet drive up really it's going to 1844 it currently is at the moment I'm sure we've got an all right angle not been a while since i've had the head mount on that's been a bit of a while it's quite busy in here as well actually i thought it'd be quieter than this but yeah we've just just been taking it as well we've been flat out our way up and 708 driving for today so again, not too bad either. As we come down to the roundabout to get rounding towards Newark services for the night. I am ready for parking up tonight. There's gonna to be some weight to get pulling this. We're gonna go after this red car that's come. We're gonna go. Come on. Get going. Yeah, this is this is a heavy one, is this? This is as heavy as the one that we brought up on 
got ran in Saturday morning with I think struggling to pull this one she's struggling to pull this one but we've made it what we on? we're on 34% diesel so we'll get tipped in the morning and um, Christ almighty a bit boy races that'll be back about midnight tonight as well probably so yeah we've got enough diesel to get up to the job in the morning and then we'll fill up at um, we'll fill up at um, what you call it in the morning I'm just gonna leave a one gap to this truck then we'll get in there yeah um, get up to Whitwood in the morning and fill up up there as well I think that's gonna be our plan at the moment is to uh, go fill up in Whitwood so We'll get backed into a space here and all is good i'll just get on the back row out of the way i don't mind the back row not at all i actually prefer it to be fair mm -hmm. just prefer it the boy racers seem to go in main bit opposite where fuel pumps are and we'll just come past there so they can have all the noise and all the trouble we'll try and stay out of the way just gonna pull it over a little bit though we are a bit precarious to say the least there we go that'll do that i'll straighten us up a bit we should just be straight back now it's a little bit of a kink now there we go that'll do us perfectly straight back at this Be very surprised if someone comes parks in the middle of me and the wagon next to us. Wait for the stoppers. There we go. Up on the stoppers, and that is us in for the night. At the minute, I don't know why my dashboard's gone so bright all of a sudden. I've been that bright all the way, I'm sure it and But yeah, we've had a good run. We have had a good run, we've had a good day. Managed to get the windscreen done. That was good. I'm glad that were a lot easier than I hope and I was worrying it wasn't going to be I was um, worried it was going to be a bit of a pain in the ass but we um, managed to get it done quite with quite good ease so that's always a bonus so yeah I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to get off just end this video straight away as we've parked up because I'm tired I'm feeling it a bit need a bit of a rest <laughs> but I'm going to try and get out on the walk tonight I think it is 10 to 7 but it's all street lit around here so try and get out on the walk get some exercise some fresh air away from the truck been a bit lazy the last couple of weeks and i don't like it so i'm going to stop rambling i'm going to get off and i'll see you on the next one